Hello everybody, my name is Matt, and for a while now I've been working on my own game, Realm Roma, which you can see here, and in this video I'm just going to be showing the overall feel of the game, as well as showing off some of its features. So I'm going to be showing you the Red Realm, which is my favourite level that I've built, and this by the way is my first game project, I've been teaching myself how to create games for a few years now, and I tried a number of times to create a full game, but I wasn't fully settled with the game I was creating until I started work on this project. Um, Realm Roma currently is not complete, but it's doing very well. I thought now would be a great time to show it off to everyone and get some feedback. So the game basically is a platformer with its own storyline in which you discover the secret of these realms, finding out who created them and finding a way to protect your town because you find out in the beginning that your town has come under attack and that uh, things are coming out of these portals which are coming from these realms and um, I won't go into that too much because I want people to see it for themselves, don't really want to ruin the story so uh, I've been mostly working on the story mode recently I also have plans for a challenge mode which will involve you needing to complete levels in a set time so I might have kind of like a gold medal which might be complete a level in under a minute or something like that. Um, I'm also planning to do an arena mode where you get attacked by waves of enemies or you have to defeat a certain number of enemies and you kind of progress your way through. So in this video I'm just going to be showing you kind of uh, as I said like the overall feel of the game so I'm going to be walking you through what's going on here. Um, as you can see we've got this knight type character and I don't really know where I got the idea for this knight character from I remember seeing something and thinking that was quite a cool idea so I kind of changed it around and came up with this person as a character. It's also quite easy to animate as well, I didn't really want a project which was too hard considering it was the first one I was going to do so I tried to make everything as simple as possible but without taking away it being fun. And um, yeah, I've kind of rebuilt him a few times. He started off with a sword. I've now given him this hammer, which I think kind of suits the game a bit more. Um, you can also see that these rocks moving around, and there's kind of different challenges set on the different levels. But uh, the like rocks moving around just kind of make the level more interesting and a lot harder because before all you were really doing was kind of jumping from rock to rock and it's surprising how hard this actually is. I don't play too many platform games myself but uh, I definitely found this a challenge to do. I've tested this so many times now I just kind of do it but first number of times I was doing it it's actually surprisingly hard. So uh, that's the end of this level. I'm just going to quickly show you some other features. Um, that was just showing like the moving rocks. Uh, here we've got two enemies and as you probably saw earlier um, when you defeat them, they turn into stone. I just thought that would be a cool feature to add. And the last feature I'm going to show is if you jump into lava, it will reset the level. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next time.